In Minneapolis St. Paul, the quickest way in and out of town is riding with someone who drives on the shoulder. It's nice because you uh, go right past cars and uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, you get home that much faster. This is a green approach to transportation that we've been doing since before green was in. A green approach that also moves traffic faster. In the Twin Cities, Jennifer Conover is in charge of an innovative program that allows buses to zip around congestion by driving on the highway shoulders. She says the program began in the early 1990s when the state realized it was not possible to build its way out of congestion. They also wanted to figure out a way to use the existing infrastructure in a way that helped transit and provided transit advantages. The feedback from bus riders is always positive. They're always very happy that they can be in their bus driving by everybody else. I was very pleased with it because we were moving on the shoulder, the bus was moving, traffic was at a standstill, and here we are getting close to our destination. Yeah, I've been taking the bus for three years now. I've been living without a car, and buses going on the shoulder are much faster than sitting in the traffic. Driving buses on the shoulder has become something of a science in St. Paul and Minneapolis. The buses don't exceed 35 miles an hour, and they're not allowed to go more than 15 miles per hour faster than the traffic flow. Still, the trip in and out of town is much quicker than driving. It's safer, too. There's only been one crash injury in the 16-year history of the service. It just saves on the congestion. There's less traffic because you don't have these big, long buses sitting in traffic. and. The more people see that, the more they'll be tempted to ride the bus and get moving. The program also provides an economic boost. The need to refurbish shoulder lanes before bus use provides a steady stream of construction and maintenance jobs. We have over 290 miles of bus shoulders in the metro area. That means that 100% of our express bus route trips can use a bus shoulder for all or major portions of their trip. Shoulder lane buses have now been successfully tried in 10 states. It's one of the public transit options that the Environmental Defense Fund thinks could have a major impact around the country. I think that there's the opportunity to really tailor innovative transit solutions to communities across the, uh, the country in a way that both serves people's needs and gets them where they need to go, uh, lets them out of their car, while also giving them a transportation option that's more environmentally friendly.